Hey guys, Quinn of Sauna Labs here. I mean, Snazzy Labs. It's just so freaking hot in here, you have no idea. Over the years, I have tested a lot of headphones, and I mean a lot. Now, while I've used some fantastic products, I have yet to find a headphone that offers portability, comfort, reference quality sound, and looks good for on-the-go use. Today, however, I am reviewing the Oppo PM3, a headphone that I think might finally fill that void as one of the best, most well-rounded headphones for the money. Oppo Digital is a Californian company that licenses the Oppo brand name from the Chinese smartphone manufacturer. So when people ask me, oh, I didn't know that Oppo made headphones. They don't really. Oppo Digital makes headphones. Are we clear? Okay, good. I'm going to break this review down into three sections to make it more digestible. Build quality, sound quality, and the overall value. The PM3 are great looking headphones. The hinges and the headband are metal with sturdy plastic enclosures for the ear cups. The headphones are available in two colors, black and white, and they're able to fold flat to carry in the included denim case. The cans come with an excellent tingle-free cable that has a rather good integrated microphone. I've used the PM3 for almost four months and I can say with assurance that they are nearly indestructible. They're just really, really, really remarkably well built. I'm serious, look at this. Okay, now I will admit the headphones are a tad on the heavy side, but they're pretty comfortable, which makes them pretty easy to wear for extended periods of time without any ear fatigue. Although you will experience some hotness in the ear cups. Portability is a check. They're a dream to take to school and or to work, especially to travel with. But in a pair of headphones, especially ones that cost $400, the most important factor is sound quality and the PM3 do not disappoint. In fact, they sound stunningly good. Before I get all technical, and I'm going to try to keep this as simple as I can, know this if you get lost. The Oppo PM3 sound remarkable, leaps and bounds beyond what I'd expect from their $399 price tag. The interesting thing about the PM3 is that they have planar magnetic drivers. If you don't know about that, you can check the description. There's a link to an explanation video on what they are. But planar magnetic drivers are historically found on really expensive, really hard to drive headphones that require uh, external amplifiers. The pros to this technology is accuracy, responsiveness, excellent bass extension, low distortion, but seldom do we see them on portable units because of inefficiency and weight. Like I mentioned, they're a little heavy, but not too bad at all. The PM3 have taken this planar technology to portable headphones without the need for an external amplifier, which is remarkable. As with any headphone, when I did plug them into my really nice desktop amplifier, the R Electaris Mark II, I did notice uh, an improvement. But that does not mean that the PM3 cannot run off of a smartphone. They do, and they really do a remarkable job. No amplifier necessary. The sound response is fitting for pretty much everyone. On the low end, bass extension is excellent and proves very bassy, but only when it's supposed to. If you're listening to the music that kids these days listen to, electronica, EDM, whatever that is, the bass is tight and focused, but when you're listening to classical and jazz, for example, the bass is uh, very in control. It's never muddy, it's never overwhelming. I'm a midhead. I love the forwardness of vocals in a pair of headphones, especially female vocals. And the PM3 might have the best vocal performance of any headphone I've ever heard in any price range. Mid-range presentation isn't thick, but it's really prominent. It's just really excellent. Now, treble and upper mid-range are where things get a little bit troublesome. They're lively, never sibling, but maybe, at least to me, they seem they have a little bit of roll-off. Some would say that's a bad thing, but I actually like it because it just further highlights how good the mids and the mid-bass are. Now, crazy talk's over. Before I wrap up, I want to mention how good the isolation is. These aren't real leather ear pads, which at first bothered me on such an expensive pair of headphones, but I think it's part of the design. Uh, to get them to seal and boy do they seal well. I flew with the PM3 on multiple occasions and they performed better than I expected. Very little noise was let in and no noise came out. The PM3 passively noise cancel better than most active noise canceling headphones cancel. Uh, take that Bose, okay? All without ruining the sound signature. My only reservation with these is that some big eared folk will have a little bit of trouble getting these to seal because the ear pads seem a little smaller than normal. It wasn't a problem for me, but you may want to buy these from a, a manufacturer or a retailer that lets you return them if they don't fit. In summation, the PM3 are simply remarkable headphones. At $399, they're not inexpensive, I know that, but they're a worthwhile investment. 
In fact, they're so much better than everything else in the $250 to $400 price range that I can't help but recommend you spend a little bit more uh, than you were planning to and opt in for a headphone that just aces every category. Let me put it this way. I own dozens of headphones. Some range more than $2,000 in price, and I use the Oppo PM3 more than any of them. They're portable, they're pretty, they're well-built, and they have the sound to match. That's my review. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, we'd appreciate it if you liked this video. It helps us a ton on the YouTube search results. If you thought it was a lousy review and it sucked, a thumbs down will do. And please leave a comment so we can know how to improve. The best way to support our content is through our Amazon affiliate link at snazzyzon.com. I'll have a video for you on Wednesday. But until then, thanks for watching. And as always, stay snazzy.